everybody. Wow, this feels so good. I have a huge smile on my face right now. I'm so excited, so excited. You have no idea. I'm so excited to be recording a podcast right now. Like, oh my God. Oh, I have been wanting to do this for months now, but being a mom takes up so much time. Like, wow, I had no idea, honestly, had no idea what this was going to be like. And it's been a lot. It has been a lot. And just I have been wanting to be so focused on being present with my baby and my life with him and not just be consumed with work like I was for so long before having him. So, oh my God, I'm so excited to be back and just, oh, you guys have no idea. I love doing these podcasts so much. Like this is just, oh, like I don't think very many new moms are like, I want to go back to work. I can't wait to be back at work. But for me, I just, my, this is like, I'm just so passionate about veganism and about teaching people about veganism. And I love podcasting. I just love the research and I love putting everything together and getting an episode all finalized and ready and then teaching people. Like I just, I love it so much. So the fact that I am back and feeling ready to start at least getting into it somewhat feels so good. I can't even begin to explain to you guys. So if you didn't listen to my last episode, which was, oh my God, maybe in June, I had a baby. I had a baby. Well, I hadn't had a baby then, but I was deciding to take a break so I could have like a month without working, which was really nice and felt really good to take that little bit of a break. And at the end of July, I birthed a human out of my body and have a little baby now. He's almost eight months old. And a lot of people are like, wow, you haven't, he's already eight months old. Doesn't it fly by? I'm like, no, actually it has felt like it has been eight months. Like it, every day is a long day, it feels like, pretty much. (laughs) But he's almost eight months old. If you're interested in like my birth story, some people are, some people aren't. I posted a video on my YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, just Kristen Pound. And I, I uploaded a video that's called my birth story. So if you're interested in how that shit went down, because it was not what I was expecting at all, then go check that out. And yeah, I'm going to be sharing lots of stuff on my YouTube channel um, when I can, at least. Again, this podcast is going to probably take up most of my spare time, but I love sharing on YouTube too. I've kind of gotten like a new like burst of inspiration for my YouTube channel because of the mom stuff. So I am really wanting to share mother stuff and vegan motherhood and vegan baby stuff. So I'm probably going to be sharing, posting, hopefully relatively regularly, you know, just kind of new mama content, veganism stuff as well. Like what I eat in a days, I'm going to be doing a video about cloth diapering. We're doing elimination communication with Max, which is where you put your baby on a toilet, essentially a little toilet and you start to learn their cues and know when they're going to go and all of that stuff. It's very interesting. Elimination communication is one of my favorite things that we're doing with him. It takes up a decent amount of time, but I love it. It's really, it's going to be, it's already amazing and it's amazing. I could go on and on about elimination communication and cloth diapering and all of that stuff. So we're doing lots of that kind of stuff and lots of low waste, low impact mom life stuff. We're doing baby led weaning, which is essentially just letting him eat foods, eat solids himself without blending it into purees is, I don't know why it's called baby led weaning, but that's essentially what it is. So coming up with cool vegan recipes for him for that has been really fun. And I want to share that as well, because there isn't a ton of resources out there for that. There are some, but I kind of want to talk about it as well on my channel and I'll probably do some podcast episodes about this stuff too, but go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search Kristen Pound and you will find me and subscribe because lots of good content coming your way. 
other than that, what was I going to talk about? Um, yeah, things have been good. Things have been relatively busy. Uh, Casey had fake COVID for a minute. Like his test result came back positive. So Max and I had to like quarantine at my parents' house after we got negative results ourselves. And then come to find out he had a false positive the whole time because he had no symptoms. Went and took another test, another two tests. And they came back negative and took an antibody test finally, came back negative. So I had to take care of Max all by myself for almost two weeks. And that was a lot. Um, thank God for my parents moving to Boise because they saved my life. Um, so that happened. And then Casey hurt his rib um, pretty bad playing kickball. So that put him out for a little bit and could barely move essentially. And he has been sick for the past few weeks with a fever and they just barely figured out that it's something called CMV. I think that's what it's called. But he literally has had a fever for like three weeks every single day, low grade fever, and has just felt like shit. So I've been so busy taking care of a baby. I mean, he's been helping for sure, but, and my mom's been coming over to help, but wow, taking care of a baby by yourself is kind of a lot, which is why I haven't been doing podcasts yet. I was going to get back to this a little bit sooner, but I just haven't had the time. So I'm so excited to finally be back. I cannot even explain. So excited. And I'm not sure how regularly I'll be posting, but hopefully fairly often. Like it might not be every other week like it was, but I will definitely like I have a bunch of episodes lined up and ready to kind of like research and release and so I don't know how often I will be actually posting content, but I'm back. I'm coming back. I'm ready to get back into it. And hopefully I will be able to find some time to possibly go to my parents like a couple times a week and work in their little office while they help take care of Max so I can like focus on work because I don't have like a dedicated office at my house. I essentially just like work in my dining room area. And yeah, you would just, the walls in my house are thin. You'd just be able to hear my baby. So it kind of just depends on how all of this goes, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm back. I've had some people reach out and say, where are you? Are you okay? Like you said, you were only going to be gone maybe for a few months and it's been a while. So yes, I'm okay. Thank you for caring. And thank you for reaching out for those of you who have, um, yeah. I'm ready to get rolling. I'm excited. I have so many cool episodes that I want to share with you guys soon. Some of them that I am really excited to record and put out for you guys soon are... I The next one I think is going to be vegan pregnancy tips. I have some really good tips on, you know, vegan pregnancy because I just went through it. And I've had a lot of people reach out and say that they would love some tips for that. So I think that'll be the next episode. I also really want to record an episode that is just about my thoughts on ex-vegans. There's been a lot of people within the last couple of years who used to be vegan, who used to be huge in the vegan community, and they're no longer vegan and are eating like fish and eggs and all of that stuff. And I've got some thoughts on it and I might do that episode with Casey because he has, we have similar thoughts, but differing thoughts. And you'll see what I mean. If we decide to do that episode together, we'll see. I really want to do an episode on veganism and white supremacy. That is a really important topic to me. And I really want to dive into that for sure. That's going to take a lot of research lots of research, lots of putting together. So I'm slowly working on the episode when I get, when I get time, there's a lot to it. And I want to make sure that I go really in depth. Like you guys know that I do on this podcast, I research the shit out of everything so that I can give you as much information that I can in a really easy to digest way. That's what I'm all about. I like, I like that. That's just, that's why I got my teaching degree. I just, I like gathering information and putting it out in a really like accessible, easy to understand and interesting, relatable way. So I really want to do an episode on veganism and diet culture. I think that's a really interesting topic that needs to be talked about more. And yeah, I have so many other ideas for episodes, especially now that things have changed so much in the world since 
I stopped recording episodes and things are just so different to me. Having a kid changes your point of view, the things that are going on in the world. So I have, I have got some amazing episodes coming your way. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed on whatever podcast listening platform you're listening on um, so that you don't miss any any episodes because I've got some good ones coming your way. If you didn't notice, I also rebranded the podcast. So no longer will there be that blue, I don't even know what that was, flowery thing um, with that super outdated how to vegan font that I used for years that I now like cannot stand to look at. So rebranded with the black background and the kind of pop of color, super simple how to vegan. Who knows? I might hate it in a couple months, but for now I like it and rebranded the podcast everywhere. So look for that instead of that blue flower with that ugly font because things are different. Rebranded. I felt like it was time. I've been wanting to do that for a while. So um, if things look different, then that's why. I also really am wanting to hire a virtual assistant. So hopefully I can do that soon and that will help me put more episodes out in a more timely manner. Um, So if anyone's interested or think they might be qualified to be a virtual assistant for me, please reach out. Um, And who knows, maybe I will do that. Maybe I won't. I really should. I really need the help. Um, So we'll see. But some things just so you know that I would want help with um, are things like editing my podcast. As of now, I use Adobe Audition, which is super simple. Experience using Canva, which is like making graphics would be highly helpful. What else? Yeah, so creating graphics, editing podcasts, um, writing promotional copy, kind of just help with the podcast stuff for now. Editing it is mostly the thing that takes up the most time. So editing, marketing, that kind of stuff. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in and you feel like you'd be qualified, reach out. If I don't get back to you right away, it's because I'm busy as shit, but I really want to hire a virtual assistant. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in and qualified for, then let me know. Let's see what else. Oh, if you're not already following the How to Vegan podcast Instagram account and you're on Instagram, go do that because I'm going to be sharing a lot more stuff on that account versus my personal account for the podcast stuff. I don't know if that makes sense. I share a lot on my personal account. Well, I used to. I'm trying to, again, hopefully more. My personal account is kristen.pound. How to Vegan Podcast is the podcast account. So just follow both of them. And that way you'll know when things are happening and new episodes are coming or released or whatever. So go follow me there. I also just put together a... Facebook page for the podcast. So just had a vegan podcast. And I don't know exactly how much I'll be using that. But if you're into Facebook and you want to connect with me there, then that is available. There's also a YouTube page, YouTube page, YouTube account, YouTube channel, YouTube channel. That's what it's called. YouTube channel for the podcast. I used to upload like unedited video versions Maybe I'll do that again someday if I have time, but it just took up a ton of time to set up the camera and everything. So if you're on YouTube and want to subscribe to the How to Vegan podcast YouTube channel, maybe I'll go live on there sometime. I also thought about maybe streaming on Twitch and doing like a live stream Q&A. You guys, I have so many ideas. It's just nonstop. I'm so excited to get back into working. So excited. Again, just make sure you're subscribed or following or whatever on your favorite podcast listening platform, whatever that is for you. I think a lot of people listen on Spotify. That's I love listening to podcasts on Spotify. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Stitcher. It's in most of the places that you can find podcasts and I'm working on getting it on even more. Tell your friends about the podcast. If you are into the podcast and want to share about it on your social media platforms, that would be awesome. I'm really trying to make a big push with this rebrand and let people know about the podcast. My ultimate goal would be the to make it on the Veg News, you know, favorite podcasts. So if any when that happens again, when the Veg News nominations happen for favorite vegan podcasts, y'all better nominate me because I'm going to be working really hard on the podcast. So yeah, that would be awesome if people could find out about my podcast that way. And if I was actually like in veg news someday, oh, that would be amazing. So 
Another thing that would be extremely helpful and beneficial and amazing would be if you went on over to the Apple Podcast app and left a five-star rating and a review. That would be amazing. The more reviews that are left, the higher up the podcast gets like pushed in the rankings. So when people type in the word vegan for the podcast, it'll come up like higher and higher and more people will see it. So even if you don't listen on Apple Podcasts, please, please, I would love you. Just go, li- just go leave a review. Like take five minutes out of your day, download the app if you don't have it, leave a review, leave a rating, let people know what you think about the podcast because it would just... It's just so helpful. And I love hearing you guys, the feedback that you guys have. So that would be amazing. Thank you for those of you who have done that because I love reading through those. It's just so, oh, you guys are the best. So please just take some time out of your day. Do me a little favor. It would really, really mean a lot to me. If you have any ideas for an episode, let me know. I have a huge list like always, but I love getting like fresh ideas from you guys. If, if you, Sometimes you guys recommend things that I've never even thought of. So if you have a specific episode you want me to do, let me know. And yeah, I think that's it. I should probably just stop blabbing on. I just really miss you guys and I miss, I miss, I miss recording these podcasts. So yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to stop. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm back, that I had a baby, give you a little life update and let you know that I'm stoked to be back. I hope you guys have all been doing really good. I know that things have been really wild. This is a really wild time to be alive, to be living during a pandemic and to just be so isolated from people. And I'll be talking about more more about that stuff for sure. But I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and figuring out ways to enjoy your life and new hobbies and just surviving and thriving in whatever way you can. Um, sending out love to all of you and I'm thinking about you and I just can't wait to keep connecting. So yeah, I hope that you have a good rest of your day and hopefully I'll be putting out a, a podcast episode soon. And yeah, I'll just, I'll just catch you guys in the next episode of the How to Vegan Podcast.